Let's start this hypothesis test problem for population proportion. We will be using p-value approach. The engineering school at a major university claims that 20% of its graduates are women. In a graduating class of 210 students, 58 were females. Does this suggest that school is believable? Use alpha as 0.05. Round p hat to the nearest ten thousandth when computing the test statistic. So first, let me uh, extract the information from here. So this is uh, p uh, zero. And n is two ten. And this 58 is x value. So from here we can compute p hat. That is x by n. So that 58 by 210. So which would be equal to, as per our requirement, that's computed to that 10,000, nearest 10,000. So this would come up like, say, 0 or x. Two seven six two. Right, so that's uh, uh, the information that we extracted, and we assume here that all the basic required conditions are true, and we would be just performing those uh, hypothesis testing steps. So step one is that write down those null and alternative hypotheses. Null hypothesis is denoted by H0, so that is this proportion is equal to P0, P0 is 0 0.20, and alternative hypothesis, so would figure it out that uh, this is this proportion not equal to or uh, greater than or less than P0. So now from the problem, it only says that they claim that that's a that the woman population is equal to 20%. There is no indication that the alternate would be less than or greater than. So in that kind of scenario, so we would always come up like that the proportion is not equal to the what is in the claim. So 0 0.20. And whenever we have that uh, a proportion is not equal to an alternative hypothesis, so we would call it two-tailed test. So that's our step one. So let's go to step two. Step two, we have to determine the significance level alpha, and in our case, alpha is given here. That's uh, 0 0.05. Step three, we have to compute the statistic, and that is z sub zero, and the equation is p hat minus P0 divided by inside the square root, so P0 times 1 minus 0 divided by N. And we're plugging in these values, so 0 0.2762 minus 0 0.20 divided by inside the square root. divided by n, n is 210, and is approximately equal to uh, 2.76. And next we have to compute p-value. So, because it's a two-tailed test, so let's draw this normal curve. So, this is, for example, like say this is a zero value that is 76, and because it's two tailed, so we would have the same area on the left tail so the, because of symmetry. So this would be negative the zero 76. So p value is actually the area in the tail, so area over here and then area over here, the sum of these two areas. So we can compute one of them. 
Okay, they are the same, so we can compute either in this, like say, uh, right tail or left tail, they are the same. Okay, for example, area on the, this left tail, so that can be computed by let's, like this, so B is less than zero. Right? So this would represent the area over here, and it would, because of symmetry, it would be the same on the other side. And we can compute this area either through the standard normal distribution table or we can also use uh, the TI-83 or TI-84 graphing calculators to figure this out. So let's try with the table. So our area is like say, uh, Z is less than Z0 which is uh, negative Z0 which is negative 2.76. So here you see that this is z value negative 2.7. The next digit would come from this column here, right? So 6. And their intersection gives us the value this one. So 0 0.0029. So this would be equal to 0 0.0029, right? So this is this area. And because of symmetry, so this area on this side would also be the same, 0 0.029. So next, P value would be, sum of the area are twice of the one of the area, P of like say, P is less than negative 0. So that is twice of 0. So that's equal to 0 0.058. So this is your p value here. The so next step four. So in step four, we will be comparing p value with the alpha. So this is your p value, and alpha is here. We in step two we computed. So if you compare this p value here, right? So and this with alpha, so alpha is 0 0.05, so uh, this is larger than this 0 0.005 because here the significant digit is after like say two decimal, third decimal and it's second. So we will see con conclude here from this p value and this the, uh, alpha that p value is less than alpha. So if p value is less than alpha, so what we do is that we reject null hypothesis. So when we reject null hypothesis, it means that uh, we there is enough evidence to support uh, H1, right? So this is there is a sufficient evidence to support H1, and H1 was that P is not equal to 0 0.20. So it means that the woman population uh, proportion in that college is not equal to 20 percent. But their claim was that you know their woman population is 20 percent. So then we can, in other words, we can write it or say that the school is not believable. 